Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this lesson on how to write a multiple graph essay. Multiple graph questions are quite common in Academic Task 1. Students often panic when they see these as they're worried about having to interpret two different types of data. As long as you've learnt how to write essays on each type of graph, you'll have no problem with multiple graph questions. A question could include any combination of the following – a bar chart, a line graph, a pie chart and a table chart. You'll find lessons on each of them, including videos, via the link to the writing section of my website ieltsjackie.com in the notes below this video. To write a high-scoring academic Task 1 essay, I recommend that you use this five-step process. First, analyse the question. Next, identify the main features of the graphic. Then write an introduction. After that, you write an overview. And finally, you write the detailed paragraphs. In this lesson, we're going to work through the five stages step by step as we answer a practice question. Before we start, here's a model essay structure that you can use as a guideline for all academic task 1 questions. Ideally, your essay should have four paragraphs. Paragraph 1 is the introduction. Paragraph 2, an overview. In paragraph 3, you should write about the first main feature. And in paragraph 4, you should write about the second main feature. We now have everything we need to begin planning and writing our essay. Here's our practice question, which includes a pie chart and a table. The pie chart shows the main reasons why agricultural land becomes less productive. The table shows how these causes affected three regions of the world during the 1990s. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. The format of every academic task 1 question is the same. Here's our practice question again, with the words that will be included in all questions highlighted. Every question consists of sentence 1, which is a brief description of the graphic, sentence 2, the instructions, and sentence 3, the graphic itself, which might be the diagram, the chart, graph, table, etc. Sentence 2 tells you what you have to do. You must do three things. 1. Select the main features. 2. Write about the main features. And 3. Compare the main features. All three tasks refer to the main features of the graphic. You do not have to write about everything. Just pick out two or three key features and you'll have plenty to write about. The graphics in multiple graph questions should not be difficult to interpret. Each question is being created to test your language skills, not your mathematics ability. All you're looking for are the main features, and these will usually be the easiest things to spot. In most Task 1 questions, you will be looking for two main features in one graph, chart or table. In multiple graph questions, look for one main feature in each graphic. There will be lots of information in the graphics to help you identify them. And here are some useful questions to ask. The first question relates specifically to bar charts and line graphs, but the rest apply to all graph and chart types. What information do the two axes give? What are the units of measurement? What are the time periods? What can you learn from the title and any labels? What's the most obvious trend? And are there any notable similarities? I give more detail on how to use these questions, plus downloadable checklists for identifying the main features of all seven different types of academic Task 1 questions in the lesson on how to understand and analyse Task 1 questions. There's a link to it in the notes below this video. So what main features stand out in each of the graphics in our practice question? 
Here are the pie chart and table again. The main features for the pie chart are the biggest cause of land degradation worldwide is overgrazing. And the main feature of the table is that Europe has the highest percentage of degraded land. We're now ready to begin writing our essay. Here's a reminder of the four part structure we're going to use. Paragraph one is the introduction. Paragraph two, the overview. Paragraph three, you give details of the first graph or chart. And in paragraph four, we give details of the second graph or chart. First, the introduction. There isn't room to include the graphics on each slide, but if you want to refer to them as we work through the four paragraphs, Bring up the lesson on my website, ieltsjackie.com, where you'll be able to see it. There's a link in the notes below. In the introduction, you should simply paraphrase the question. That is, say the same thing in a different way. You can do this by using synonyms and changing the sentence structure. For example, here's the question again. The pie chart shows the main reasons why agricultural land becomes less productive. The table shows how these causes affected three regions of the world during the 1990s. And this is how you could write the introduction. The pie chart illustrates the primary causes of land deterioration across the globe, while the table outlines how three different regions were affected by these damaging factors in the 1990s. And that's all you need to do for the introduction. In the second paragraph, you should report the main features you have identified, giving only general information. The detail comes later in the essay. However, with just 20 minutes allowed for task one and a requirement of only 150 words, you won't be able to include many details. Here are the features we picked out again. For the pie chart, the biggest cause of land degradation worldwide is overgrazing. And for the table, Europe has the highest percentage of degraded land. Now form these ideas into two or three sentences, with a total of around 40 words. State the information simply using synonyms where possible. No elaborate vocabulary or grammar structures are required, just the appropriate words and correct verb tenses. For example, it is clear from the pie chart that the main reason why farmland becomes less productive is overgrazing. The data in the table reveals that Europe had the highest percentage of degraded land compared to North America and Oceania for the period recorded. Paragraphs 3 and 4 of your multiple graph essay are where you include more detailed information about the data in the graphics. In paragraph 3, you should give evidence to support your first key feature. Here it is again. The biggest cause of land degradation worldwide is overgrazing. And here's an example of what you could write. The pie chart presents two additional key reasons for the decrease in the productivity of agricultural land. These are deforestation and overcultivation. Although tree clearance is almost as damaging as grazing too many animals at 30%, it has a 5% lower impact than overgrazing. Excessive cultivation is the least problematic at just over a quarter of the total. For the fourth and final paragraph, you do the same thing for your second key feature. Our second feature is, Europe had the highest percentage of degraded land. And here's an example of what you could write. According to the table, 23% of Europe's agricultural land was affected by these damaging practices. This was almost double the percentage in Oceania, the next most affected region. North America experienced by far the lowest level of productivity loss, with a figure of just 5% of its total agricultural land. Here are the four paragraphs brought together to create our finished essay. Pause the video and read through it so that you can hear how the four paragraphs flow from one to the other. This sample essay is over the minimum word limit, so you can see that you don't have space to include very much detail at all. 
That's why it's essential to select just a couple of main features to write about. Now use what you've learnt in this lesson to practice answering other multiple graph questions. Start slowly at first and keep practicing until you can plan and write a complete essay in around 20 minutes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Goodbye for now.